Hello friends, this is um, Science Paper 2, Division and um, more concept and the method of correcting a gas. Okay. So the question is saying uh, copper 2 nitrate decomposes when heated two gases, oxygen and nitrogen dioxide, and a solid are made in the reaction. So a sample of copper 2 nitrate was decomposed using the apparatus shown. So we have copper 2 nitrate being heated. And also we have uh, the aqueous sodium hydroxide, which is acting as a catalyst in this reaction. So we have X. So on this part here, we are having water, which means the method of correcting a gas here, it is uh, the displacement of water. Now we can only use displacement of water to correct gases which are insoluble in water. So as for Roman numeral number one is saying, complete the chemical equation for the reaction. Okay. So we have copper to nitrate being decomposed to form oxygen plus nitrogen dioxide plus the last product that we don't know. So the last, pro the last product is going to be copper to oxide. Now, since this one is copper to oxide, and copper is having the valence of 2, copper is having the what? The valence of 2. And oxygen usually it has a valence of 2. So we are going to find that the valences are going to be interchanged. So the valence of uh, oxygen is going to go on um, copper. Then also the valence of copper is going to go on what? Oxygen. So it is going to look like uh, Cu, Cu2 or 2. Then from there now, you look for the common denominator, which is 2. So 2 into 2, it is 1. 2 into 2, that is 1. As the result, the final product is going to be what? Cu or as the copper 2 oxide. Now we need also to do something here by balancing the chemical equation because this question is calling to max. So by, lighting, by just lighting the, the last product, you're going to get a mark. Then by balancing it, you need also to get a mark. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to put 2 on copper 2 oxide and also 4 on nitrogen dioxide. So if I put 2 on the copper 2 oxide, I'm going to find that on the products, I'm going to have 2 moles of copper. Then on the reactants, or, yes, on the reactants or reagent, I'm going to have two moles of copper, so copper is balanced. Then as for nitrogen, nitrogen here I'm having on the product, on the products I'm having nitrogen, four moles of nitrogen. Then the two outside the nitrate here is going to multiply with everything inside the bracket. So we're going, we are going to find that to multiply by one, we are going to get what two. And also, 2 on copper here is going to multiply with everything inside the, what, the brackets. As a result, also on the reactants, we are going to have 4 moles of nitrogen. So also nitrogen is balanced. Then as for oxygen, oxygen on the products, we are having 12 atoms of oxygen. And also on the reagents, on the reagent or reagents, we are having 12 atoms of oxygen. So the one I'm, I'm counting is like this. The two on the copper to oxide is going to multiply with copper and also oxygen, which means as for the copper to as for the copper to oxide here, we are having two, two moles of oxygen. And then on the nitrogen dioxide here, four multiplied by two, we are going to get what eight plus two atoms of oxygen, which is the oxygen gas, we are going to find that the answer is going to be at 12. Then on the reagent, uh, two multiplied by three, we are going to get what? Six. Six multiplied by two on copper, we are going to get what? 12. That is where now 12 is coming from. Okay, so that one is balanced. The next one, which is Roman number two, is saying, only oxygen gas is collected at X. So the reason why oxygen is collected at X, this is because 
this one is just uh, this one is just the displacement of water. So now, when collecting a gas using displacement of water, we only use displacement of water for gases which are insoluble in water. So this one I'm going to say explain. The, the question is saying explain why. So I'm going to say this is because oxygen is insoluble in water. This is because oxygen is insoluble in water. So apart from oxygen being insoluble in water, we also have, um, sorry for that. So we also have another gas which is insoluble in water, which is what? Hydrogen. Okay. So the next one which is B is saying nitrogen dioxide and other oxides of nitrogen are formed in car engines. Explain how nitrogen dioxide is formed in car engines. So nitrogen ox dioxide is formed in the engine when oxygen reacts with nitrogen at high temperature. Okay, so nitrogen dioxide is formed when oxygen reacts with nitrogen at high temperature. Okay, so let's move on to the next one, which is question C. So question C is saying uh, a teacher eated 18.8 grams of copper 2 nitrate. Then Roman number one is saying calculate the number of moles of copper 2 nitrate present in 18.8 grams. So the first thing here I'm going to find the molar mass of copper 2 nitrate using a balanced equation. So I'm just going to take copper 2 nitrate. So the next one here, I'm going to say 2 multiplied by 3. I'm going to get 6. 6 multiplied by 2, that is what, 12. 12 multiplied by the mass number of oxygen, which is 16. Then I'm going to get 192. Then 2 multiplied by 1, I'm going to get 2. 2 multiplied by 2 on copper, I'm going to get what, 4. So 4 multiplied by the, num the mass number of nitrogen, which is 14, I'm going to get... 56. Then here I'm having two moles of copper multiplied by the mass number of copper, which is 64. Then the answer is going to be 128. So when I add on this part here, I'm going to find that the total is going to be 376, 376 grams per mole. 376 grams per mole. So now since I know that number of moles is equal to mass of uh, molar mass, so the mass of copper 2 nitrate, it is 18.8 grams divided by the molar mass, which is 376 grams per mole. Then the final answer is going to be 0 0.05 moles. 0 0.05 moles of copper 2 nitrate. Okay. Then the next one is Roman number number two saying. Calculate the maximum number of moles of oxygen that can be made by eating 18.8 grams of copper 2 nitrate. So I'm going to use the more to more ratio, more to more ratio. So if I get the balance equation, since here on the balance equation I'm having one more, one more of oxygen gas and two moles of copper 2 nitrate. So I'm going to say 2, 2, 2, 2, 1. So 2 is coming from copper, 2 moles of copper to nitrate. Then 1 is coming from 1 more of oxygen gas. Then apart from that one, I need also to, to, to make another ratio, which is uh, 0 0.05 moles of uh, copper to nitrate to number of moles of oxygen gas that we don't know. Then from there now, I'm going to cross multiply. So 2 multiplied by n, I'm going to get 2n. Then 0 0.05 multiplied by 1, I'm going to get 0 0.05. Then divided by 2, I'm going to get what? 0 0.025 moles. So this one is going to be the number of moles of oxygen gas. So let's move on to the next one. So the last one is saying... Um, Calculate the maximum volume of oxygen at room temperature and pressure in centimeters cube. That can be made by eating 18.8 grams of copper 2 nitrate. So now, how it is here is like this. 
one more of a given gas, one more of a given gas at room temperature and pressure is equivalent or is equal to 24,000 centimeters cubed. One more of a given gas at room temperature and pressure is equal to 24,000 centimeters cube. So now when we took over decimeters cube, which means it's going to be like this. One more of a given gas at room temperature is equal to 24 decimeters cubed. Now they are saying we need to calculate it. We need to calculate the volume of oxygen in centimeters cubed. So which means I'm going to use one more of a given gas at room temperature and pressure is equal to 24,000 centimeters cubed. So now, the number of moles of oxygen E8 is what? 0 0.025. So which means I'm going to multiply 0 0.025 multiplied by 24,000. So the reason, I, the reason why I'm multiplying 0 0.025 moles of oxygen multiplied by 24,000 centimeters cubed, this is because on the right side, I'm having what? Moles, which means I need to balance up. This 0 0.025 moles, I can't put it on the left side because on the left side, we are just having what? The volumes. So I need to put it on the right side. So when I multiply, the volume is going to be 600 centimeters cubed. 600 centimeters cubed. So that was the last one. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel.